Chevy. 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 Such a good boy. Vina, how you doing, bud? How you doing? Very good, thank you. Thank you, very good. Hello. Good boy. Good morning, everybody. We've been home for a few days now. I didn't film every day, so a little quicker on your end, I, I understand, but we've gotten a lot done. We are slowly getting this house up to tip-top shape. It's gonna be good. So we should be done in the next few weeks. Other than that, I gotta head back out on the road today. We're going to Alberta. Got a load that needs to deliver in Edmonton. And then I've got a load coming back home and I'll be back for next weekend as well. I gotta finish this work. I wanna get everything done here finally. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be living like that any longer. I wanna paint that, put the trim up. It's time, it's time to just get everything done and then don't have to worry about it. So we'll do that next weekend. But for now, we've got to get our stuff together. First, I got to go mow the lawn. I'm looking forward to that. And then, and then, we got to head to Alberta. Gorgeous, but gorgeous Alberta, right, Chevy? Home sweet home, right? Not gonna lie, I really didn't want to leave home. I never want to leave home. I mean, it's so conflicting, you know? I love what I do. I love my job. I love driving truck. I love getting on the road, but I hate leaving home, you know? I hate leaving the wife at home. It was more hard than usual today, but man, I'm not going to get you down with that. We're back in our mobile moving home, the, the one that makes us money. The other home doesn't make us any money. It actually costs us a lot of money. This one is the one that makes us money, so... Got my big blue bag here. This bag has my life in it. Got everything except my wife in here. Wait, maybe she's in here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> maybe I packed her away. Wouldn't that be a nice surprise? <sighs> okay, what is this? Now? Turn this around. Open it up. Where's the zipper? Where's the zipper? There it is. Okay, and we got this. I got my little my little bear Scotty here. From my friend Waddy in Scotland. Look, he's a little Scottish bear. Playing the bagpipes. What are you looking at? He missed me. At least at least I have someone to look forward to spending some time with other than Diesel, eh? Where can I put you? I usually have him back here so he's watching me while I drive like a creepy dude playing his bagpipes. <laughs> oh, okay. Brit and I really want to go on a trip to Scotland and Ireland. Ugh. We were actually uh, we were actually planning on taking the trip this year, right? Well, this year or next year, soon anyways, like really soon and then immediate future, the next year or two. And then, the sickness came. Well, here's our new friend. Just hooked her up, gotta hook up the lights, roll up the dollies. And they parked them kinda close down there at the end, eh? Jeez. Yeah, gotta go do our pre-trip and stuff. We'll be on our way. I don't know how far I'll get tonight. I wanna at least get to Brandon, two and a half, three hours down the road. It's already dark, so, well, it's not quite dark, but uh, probably about 10 o'clock right now. So we'll drive till about midnight and shut her down and do the rest tomorrow. So I was just checking the wipers here, making sure they're working, mm -hmm. washer fluid's working, and we're all set, ready to rock. I got carried away watching uh, videos on the internet here about, uh, What's going on in Portland, Oregon? It's crazy, just night after night of riots. Just, wow. Glad I don't go through there very often, I tell you that, wow. We're not going there, we're going to Edmonton. Let's, let's hang out out here for a little bit. Things are getting a little crazy down there. Let's sit this one out, let's just go to Edmonton. 
<laughs> Making our way around the south side of Winnipeg. The sun's pretty much gone down already. The northern sky is still light over there, but the days are slowly, slowly the daylight hours are slowly getting shorter. I don't mean to leave you on a depressing note, but it's still beautiful weather out here. We got another month of hot summer heat. And then we gotta start getting ready. There's a cyclist on the road there, on the other side, going the other direction. You're gonna get hit, buddy. There's a cyclist path on my side of the bridge. Why wouldn't you be on the cyclist path? Cyclists, I tell you. They're like my arch nemesis on the highway. I'm hauling like 80,000 plus pounds of hurtling steel. And you got this little tiny bicycle on the highway trying to share the road with me doing just a fraction of the speed I'm doing. Yeah, that's smart. <laughs> Literally wouldn't even feel it. But hey, whatever. Some people like cycling. Some people just don't like cyclists. So how far do you think we're going to make it today? Like I said, I'd like to at least make it to Brandon. We shall see. We got started a little later than I anticipated. A lot later. Story of my life. Things always take longer than you think it will. Always. Grab myself a little bit of late supper here. Pilot Flying J Pizza. Heart stopping goodness. And I am ready to rock. First day on the road is always kind of blah, so at least the first day back on the road is short. Right. I'll drive until the coffee wears off. How's that sound? So we're at the Flying J in uh, Headingley, Manitoba here, just on the west side of Winnipeg. I guess I'm gonna have to go all the way around because that's the way these pumps are set up. That's okay, I don't mind. This is actually a really big truck stop, and I rarely ever stop here because I, I live in southern Manitoba, so if I'm spending the night in this region, I'm usually spending the night at home in my own bed with my wife and not alone in the truck. Well, I got diesel, but it's just not the same. All right, one second. Signal my intentions. I've told you this before, right? On my driver test, it was just my uh, regular car driver test when I was 16. My driver test, I got five points against me because I did not signal my intentions in a wide open gravel parking lot. Apparently, we're supposed to do that. So I do that. It also helps people wandering around the parking lot know what you're doing and what you're up to. There's a big bug right in front of the camera. That was there the whole time, wasn't it? Why didn't I clean? You know what? We're going to clean it off right now. We're going back around. Signal my attention once more. Once more. Ah, we're going back in here. I'm going to wash this window. How dare it? They always smash right in front of the camera, too. It's frustrating. Everyone's going to be wondering, what's that driver doing? He's crazy. Going, what? going back for more fuel? What? No, some bug committed suicide with my truck. I, what, why are you gonna involve me in that? It was just that one bug. The one bug right in front of the camera. It's like they plan it out. It's like they're at war with me. I'm not at war with them, but they're at war with me. They keep taking shots at me. Little soldier bugs. Make sure to hit him right in front of the camera. He really hates it when you do that. Gotta say, they got pretty good aim. How's that? Better? Try 
try this again. Now I can go this way. I don't have to go all the way around this time. Ridiculous. All right, much better. Let's hit the road. Trans Canada westbound. And we have arrived to Brandon. Brandon, Manitoba. City of the West. Western part of the province. My image stabilization doesn't work as well at night, so you're gonna see a little bit more shaking. Uh, we're gonna go to the other side of town and uh, stop at the Husky. Or is it an SO now? SO bought Husky. Sort of like how Pilot bought Flying J, I think. Or is it the other way around? What do I know? SO bought Husky. And now it's SO, but I still call it Husky. Husky has a, like a Canadian ring to it. Esso. How did Esso buy Husky? Esso was almost obsolete. You'd never see Esso anywhere. Suddenly they buy like the one of the largest truck stops in Canada. Just out of nowhere. Where'd you get all that money, Esso? I thought it'd be, uh, I thought Husky would buy Esso. I think I'm overthinking this. I'm tired. Coffee hasn't quite worn off yet. My brain's still going 10 hundred, 10 hundred, 10 hundred miles a minute. You figure that one out. We're gonna pull into here anyways. I don't wanna stop at a truck stop. I gotta get some water. I don't have any water in the truck. Makes me nervous when I have no water. What if something happens and I get stuck somewhere and I got nothing to drink? That's not good. Should always have food and water for at least a few days. A few days worth. What? What? Hey, don't look at me like that. I'm like a dog. I go to a truck stop and I, I have to do three laps before I find a good place to lay down. I think we found a good spot here, off to the side, in our own little zone. Diesel's looking at me like, and you thought you were bad. <laughs> I always say that, I'm like a dog, I need to circle around a few times before I find a good spot to lay down, because it's gotta be the best spot. I don't settle for anything but the best. So, Thanks for t tagging along with me today, everybody. Uh, it was just a short little day. We just made it to Brandon, Manitoba. Got another 1,146 kilometers to drive tomorrow to get to Edmonton. I'm Americanizing it, don't worry. That is 712 miles. <sighs> I all have 13 hours to get it done. Actually less than that, because I stopped past midnight, but we should get very close, if not all the way there tomorrow. It'll be a long day. So I, I really encourage you to please subscribe to my channel here and tag along with me because it's going to be a long day and I need some company. So if you would come and keep me company, that'd be great. It's just going to be a lot of driving across the prairies. Epic scenery ahead. Uh, lots of sky. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see a moose. Probably just a lot of corn though. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be a lot of corn. So come, join me tomorrow. Let's all watch the corn grow together as we drive down the highway. I'll see you then.